So we're uh, in the conning tower of a Baleo-class submarine, very similar to the submarine I write about, the USS Segundo, in my book Operation Storm. Uh, in front of me is the uh, aft periscope. Uh, but what I want to talk about now is the uh, radar that was in the conning tower. Over here in the starboard aft section of the conning tower, we have the radar station, uh, basically the SJ-1 and the ST radar, uh, which is this green scope here. What's so important about this is that uh, radar was a huge, hugely important uh, strategic development during World War II, and you would expect it would have played an important role in spotting the E-401, which was the largest submarine built during World War II, and in fact remained the largest submarine built for another 20 years. You would think that a sub that size would have painted a huge radar signature. Well, according to Snoopy Leach, who was the radar technician on duty in the conning tower of the Segundo at the time, the E-401 did not show up on this radar screen until it was only 5,500 yards away from the Segundo. That was surprisingly close given the size of that target. Snoopy said afterwards that he'd expected a, a target that size to show up at 15,000 yards, but that was not the case uh, with the E-401. The reason why the E-401 did not show up sooner is probably due to uh, two stealth coatings that the sub was painted with. Uh, and additionally, the, um, the sail of the E-401 was actually indented at the base to reflect radar waves back into the sea, or at least that's how the theory went. There's some controversy over how effective that stealth technology actually was, but there's no denying that the E-401 should have shown up at 15,000 yards rather than 5,500 yards. Interestingly, um, the E-401 was spotted first by uh, an officer on board the Segundo, Lieutenant Lewis Rodney Johnson, who was on the fantail at the time. It was dark out, there was a little bit of moonlight, and he actually spotted the silhouette of the E-401, which was so huge that in his mind he was sure it was a surface ship. Of course, it later turned out they got an even bigger surprise when they turned out that it was a sub that was, you know, 25% bigger than the Segundo was herself.